right good day to you once again you're welcome to today's class um once again you're welcome to today's e-learning mathematics tutorial class um god's willing we're going to consider a topic today which is ratio and proportion i'll repeat that ratio and proportion now in the course of uh, this class today we are going to discuss the ratio but they are always together so we're going to discuss ratio today why subsequent in this class we're going to discuss proportion but they both work together so that's why i was combining but i don't want to merge it because of the volume so that it won't kind of uh, be bulky for you to comprehend so now ratio what do we mean by ratio anytime we hear ratio in a simple term what does it mean ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division in a very simple sentence i repeat ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities using division is that clear to you now but majorly basically we can compare two things isn't it so we can compare three things as well even with ratio so now we have something we denotes the ratio symbol with this can you see this two dots just like column let me draw it out so that you can see that clearly something like this you can see this let me write it clearly good so we have two these two dots like this just like column can you see it here good that is what we call ratio symbol so when in time we are having a symbol in mathematics we should have it at the back of my mind that this is what ratio so now for two quantities which are not equal to zero please take note of this word not equal to zero means that these quantities they are more than zero exactly to you know they are more than zero or sometimes less than zero that's when you get to advanced ratio class as when you get to higher classes you can offer calculations that involve negative integers but now for this uh, basic class we're going to discuss about numbers from one above do you understand it now so when quantities and let me pause a little to explain quantities for you quantities means anything you can measure exactly like liters of water liters of petrol liters of anything it could be counting of objects like books oranges bags etc so that's what i mean by quantities so we say for two quantities which are not equal to zero can be in the ratio of each other eg a ratio b or three ratio five uh -huh. six ratio four can you see that now so that is what we mean by ratio so anytime we pronounce it ratio we say six ratio four but we denote it like six ratio four can you see that now we won't say six semicolon four mm -mm. it's very incorrect we say six ratio four you see that now these two dots must be what clearly written anytime you are solving ratio questions so now let's erase all and let's help who we have now now take for instance i have two sets of orange oranges i have the first set here how many one two three four five six seven eight i've got how many oranges here eight oranges down here how many oranges one two three four five six good i have six oranges here why i have eight here isn't it now take for instance i want to share the six oranges into um let's say i want to share it into four ratio two you know and I want to share eight oranges into four ratio four and I'm to distribute this for kids how will it look like please take a good look at this in a very simple way you see this kids and you see this so the each person concerned we have 
exact amount of what the value i'm sharing these oranges which is eight the total number of oranges here is eight why i've shared it into four ratio four do you understand it now four ratio four that's each of them has four four because the total number of oranges we are concerned with is eight why the total number of oranges we are concerned with here is also what six but we have shared it into four ratio two so each one of them we have four why the other person has two oranges do you understand ratio now brilliant so now let's move on to what we have for the next slide let's engage ourselves in calculations involving ratio now a question comes to us here is it the ratio of tomatoes to red apples in two is two to ratio five in a basket if there are 20 tomatoes in the basket how many red apples are there in the basket now ratio question usually come in a form of word problems and this is required of you in such that you have to involve your mental um, cognition to solve these questions because they are very simple but they come in a very technical way now here is a question it says in the ratio of tomatoes to red apples so in a very simple way you can just come up and say solution let's solve this tomato to red what apples can you see this is what two ratio five now anytime you're reading question on a ratio please i want you to take note of this it's very important that anytime you're reading question on ratio when you hear the word respectively they are trying to tell us that once after mentioning these digits two to five what's the quantity behind it which is tomato and red apple once they put respectively after that word whether they put it or not in ratio after the pronunciation of a quantity the number is what respectively connected to that quantity what do you mean by that as this question comes as the ratio of tomatoes to red apples is two ratio five so in a simple sentence it simply means tomatoes is two why the apples are five do you understand that now so that's why I've represented this way in a basket. Now, if there are 20 tomatoes in the basket, now the question is very simple because it said 20 tomatoes are in the basket. So how many red apples do we have? We have unknown red apple. So we represent it with hex. So in a very simple way, I'm, I'm coming. Let's erase this so that you have a, a very good space to solve. Um, to ratio 5 why this is 20 tomatoes excuse me please this is 20 tomatoes here twenty tomatoes why this is unknown X so I can denote this with X, which I don't know. In a very simple illustration, I think even mentally you can solve that. Well, if this is a 20, you can't, you can't just jump and conclude that. Well, this should just be 50. Ah, there is working to it. Now, anytime we have 2 ratio 5, it's denoted as addition of this is what? 7, right? isn't it so you're going to come up with this tomatoes your your own quantity is this two divided by seven multiplied by total number of fruits total equals to what 20. please i'm coming i don't know why this pen is misbehaving
no guess it's back so now or let me explain this so that it will help you to clearly understand what i'm talking about better now what i'm going to do here is very simple this is very easy to understand just pay attention now the sum of the two ratio is what 2 plus 5 that is equals to what 7 if I'm not wrong right 7 so now this is how you're going to do you say tomato T apples a isn't it now the way you are going to calculate the way this 20 has been obtained this is it they said 2 divided by total ratio 7 multiply by total number of fruits this is tomato this is apple total number of fruits that is how they got 20 so the same way you're going to say 2 divided by no excuse me this is uh, 5 for apple we now 5 5 divided by 7 multiply by total number of what total number of fruits that is how you are going to get the value for apple and the value for tomato but that of tomato has been given to be 20 why that of apple is unknown so how can we get the total number of fruits in the basket so after obtaining the total number of fruits in the basket you can come up to solve any quantity anything you are required of in ratio so i prefer to break it down this way so that uh, you don't just go direct to what you're looking for exactly but if the question has been modified if they technically change the question you should know all the tactics involved to be able to solve it if i just go directly and just solve okay the total number of uh, x is this uh, it might get you confused if you see some other question so it's better to go broad and explain clearly to you now how can we find the total number of fruits you can just say since we are giving that of tomato to be 20 right 20 equals to 2 over 5 multiplied by tf that's total fruits right so now I can come up and say 20 equals to 2 tf why because this one 2 times tf do you understand this thing so we can come up with this in mathematics you know this is 20 right so this can also give us 20 crossing multiply here we have 20 times 5 that is 100 equals to tf right 100 equals to tf 2 tf excuse me 2 tf you know i got that very simple we just cross multiply 2 tf so now we have 100 equals to 2 tf isn't it so now we're going to say tf now will be equal to what divide both sides by 2 let me rewrite it in front so that it will be more easier now this is going to give us 100 equals to what? 2 tf now that's total fruit so total fruit now will be equals to 50 do you agree with me because you're going to divide both sides by 2 so this one will cancel this why this one will cancel this and we have 50 so all the total number of fruits is what is 50 right so in a very simple arithmetic how many fruits will you think i mean how many red apples will you think would be in the basket if 20 are tomato you just subtract 20 from 50 then you have this as 30. do you understand that now you have this as what 30. so or if you decide not to do that you can just come up here and say since the total fruit is 50 now 20 had been given 
which is for tomatoes then if the total number of fruit is 50 and 20 is tomato definitely to find the red apples you just click 50 minus 20 which is 50 minus 20 we have nothing but 30 that's too cheap for you uh -oh. right now here we have x equals to 30 do you understand my workings x equals to what 30 so how many or apples are there in the basket we have 30 red apples in the basket do you understand it now or if you decide to do it in another way you can say 5 over 7 multiplied by 50 because tf here see you can come back here and say 5 over 7 and say 5 over 7 uh, over 7 multiplied by 50 if you solve this mathematics you must arrive at nothing but 30 do you understand it now to still give you the same answer as this this is the what number of red apples in the basket do you understand that now great so let's go to the next example now in a class of 42 students how many 42 students if the ratio of boys to girls in the class is four to six respectively good this question involved the statement respectively as i said earlier isn't it is it now how many girls are in that class very interesting sweet question now we can come up and say the total number of the students have been given here unlike the previous question you know here we have to find the total number of fruits in the basket by ourselves right but here it has been made so easy they've said the total number of students in class is nothing but 42 then the ratio is 4 to 6 respectively very simple so we can just come up with this idea as well total number is 42 the ratio to boys to girls so i'll say b ratio g is 4 to 6 respectively anytime you are giving ratio question this is first two steps is highly required of you then you cannot come up and say the percent does that to find the total number of boys you can just say the sum of the ratio now is what sum of ratio is 10 isn't it so you can just come up and say 4 over 10 multiply by total number is what total number of students so 4 over 10 it will be this will be your ratio hmm? multiply by total total number of what you are looking for which is the student which is 42 do you understand that now this is for boys I'm yeah then why for girls we're going to have six over you see my ratio six over what ten multiply by forty two you see that is very simple and very easy so you can just come up with your mathematics and oh thank god all of them are even number two in ten I've got five Two in forty-two, I've got what? Twenty-one. Right? Twenty-one, isn't it? Good. So we can come up here and say um, two here. Five. Two in forty-two, twenty-one. So final answer is going to have some fractions. 
and this is very easy so 4 times 21 divided by 5 you can still come up to break something down is it possible mm, no it's not so the ratio still remains where it is can you see that now so for the boys now let's part this for the boys we're going to have 4 times 21 divided by 5 why for the girls we're going to have 6 times 21 divided by 5 as well so the total number of girls in class why the total number of boys in the class so but we are hacks for the girls so you might solve for the boys also if you wish so let's focus on what we hack first so 6 times 21, very simple, we're going to say 21 times 6 here, 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 126. So we've got 126 divided by 5, how will you do that? 126. I love solving mathematics without calculator. Please learn how to do that, it makes your brain more smart, even in exam. Now, 126. You know I got 126, 21 multiplied by 6, divided by 5. You see that I've got here 6 times 1, 6, 6 times 2, 12. So final answer from 6 times 21 is what? 126. So we can come up and say 5 divided by 12 first. I'm 12 divided by 5. How many times? I've got 2. 2. Now, remaining how many? It remains 2. So 5 in 26, we've got 5. Remain what? It remain 1. So the 1 I'll bring it down. I can involve 0 here and put decimal here. This was the first step I taught you in mathematics. You remember that division of numbers. Now, 5 in 10, we've got 2. So final answer, total number of girls is 25.2. <laughs> this number is so funny in mathematics. So this is just a question to explain ratio. Actually, there is nothing like 25.2 girls. It's not possible. You know why? Because we can only have whole number of pupils. We can only have whole number of human beings. We can't have 25.2 human beings. Ah, it's, it's not possible. <laughs> Do you understand that now? Nobody will be uh, I'm the half in the class or I'm the one over two person. No, everybody is a whole human being, one complete human being. And no, I'm a product in the class. So now, what we're talking about here is just an uh, illustration of this mathematics about ratio. Never get confused about it. It's very simple and very interesting. Let me run over it again. We say B to G was giving us 4 to 6, isn't it? So now, when we are giving 4 to 6, we say first thing we are going to know is that for boys, how to find the total number is just, I mean how to find the total number of boys is that we are going to say 4 divided by total number of ratio which is 4 plus 6, that give us 10. You can see that here, right, 4 over 10, isn't it, multiply by the total number of the entire class which is 42 students. Can you see that now? So out of 42 students, we have 4 over 10 multiplied by 42. So solving the mathematics, we arrive at this. 4 times 21 divided by 5. So assuming the question asks you how many girls are in the class, you can come up and say, um, sorry, how many boys are in the class? If the question require you to find the total number of boys, then you solve down this. Then you come up and say, girls equals to 25.2 girls then please um, excuse me never forget unit g i r l s sorry please girls in class so if 25.2 are girls how can you find boys very simple so cheap we have 42 total number and we have 25 girls let's say 42 minus 25 we have a many left that's um, 42 let me do it here minus 25 
here we have what um, 3 12 minus 5 we've got uh, what 7 here then we have 17 very cheap so do your workings as much as you can easy right so if you solve this down it must give you this 17 as well or 16.8 mm. if you solve this it must give you 16.8 you know i got to know that because if you have 16.8 plus 25.2 it must definitely give us nothing but 42 students which are the total number of students in the class i hope you understand this now Hmm. Here comes some cakes to enjoy. The first question says the label on a large bottle of excuse me of juice states that dilutes the juice into one ratio three of juice to water. It means juice will what? Be one. Water will be three, respectively. If ten liters of juice is to be prepared. As a total so solve this question easily as possible because i've almost broken the question into smaller pieces for you now you were given one thousand dollars as a gift i don't know it could be from mom or dad but mom asked you to share it within you and your cousin oh excuse me Within you and your cousin in the ratio of four to six, respectively. It means you will be four, your cousin will be six because of this statement, respectively. Never forget that in ratio. What will be the amount that your cousin will have? It means four over six, blah, blah. Very cheap. The next one, in a class of 45 pupils, again, if the ratio of boys to girls is five to four, respectively, what is the number of the boys in the class? Finish it up, submit as first as possible. Thank you. God bless you for your time. See you in the next class.